Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman and this is The Lost Short Round. The Lost Short Round, tell you a little bit about how a model becomes a model. Uh, this was Shaw Kobayashi's pro model and his own personal board that he developed with uh, Matt Shaw as one of the Lost Team Riders. And uh, the board developed a really strong following uh, in the California Baja, Mexico area where Shaw travels a lot. And then also the uh, Japanese importer of Lost then started importing that model and great feedback from their customers as well. Um, if you've seen video of Shaw surfing, uh, really compact uh, style, uh, real pivotal in his turns, generates a lot of speed and just surfs you know, tiny waves to good waves really, really well. Uh, it's been real successful on the competitive circuit and uh, this is the board that he rides all the time. The board uh, originated from uh, the, a rocket style board uh, with basically a V2 stub front of the board married to a bump wing squash tail. When we, when we talk about a bump wing squash tail, if you look at the outline of this board, it's real, it's real smooth the whole way until you get to about here, and then there's just a little bit of an elbow bending it in, and then it goes to a squash tail. And so the thoughts were to take something as fast <clears throat> and fun to surf as a rocket and then marry it to the back end of a small wave competition shortboard. So you'd still be able to make all the competitive, uh, tight, pivotal uh, contest turns that you wanted to off the back of the board once you were up and riding, uh, but the ability to uh, paddle, the ability to catch waves, and the ability to glide across flat spots of something like a V2 stub on the front was gonna be a good, good, good combo in, uh, in one board. Uh, Everything you know basically starts out like a thought like that, and they put it into you know they put it into prototyping. They put boards out on the water. Uh, you know Shaw tested, his friends tested, and and the board really took off at an underground level to the point where there was literally hundreds of people saying, "You guys have to put this in the line. It's such a good board uh, that people are definitely going to be stoked on it." So, uh, what is this board good for? Um, Shaw uses it for basically everything. You can find videos of him surfing waves like this big on it, and then you can find surfing you know, waves overhead trestles. Uh, it's a really good, if you have a quiver with a, like an uber grobbler, like a, like a bean bag or a puddle jumper, and then you have you know, something above this board for when the waves are really throttling, this would be a board that would be like right in the middle of your quiver. Like you know, it could be your only board if you live in a place with fairly consistent surf, or it's gonna be a really good uh, mid-range. Board. The, the style of uh, surfing for this board, it's going to have a lot of the rocket uh, characteristics as far as easy paddling, getting into the wave, the glide, the speed. It's just going to be more pivotal than a, rock, than a rocket because it has that bump in the back. And again, looking at that bump wing and talking a little bit more about that, boards turn off of curves. So you have the, the rocker, which is, if you're looking at the board this way, You've got the rocker from the nose to the tail, and then you also have the outline curve when you go this way. And so, whenever you put an, uh, an elbow in the line, in the line, in the outline of the board, that allows the board to pivot more quickly right on that elbow. And so, when we talk about that elbow and the outline being right here, that's what you would call like a bump wing, and then it goes to a squash tail. So, rather than a full wing that clicks in, that's really noticeable, the bump wings can be really subtle. And that's what you have uh, in this board. And that's what allows you to, to either draw it a turn and have it be more carving or to really wade into it on your back foot and really pivot off of that, off of that elbow in the, uh, in the outline. Uh, another popular question right out of the blocks is, hey, what do you think about dot, dot, dot? So we've had a lot of people say, hey, what do you think about a puddle jumper and a short round as a two board quiver? And, and it would actually be a great, uh, great quiver in that the boards are very similar in, uh, in rocker and, and outlines. Um, this board's gonna be a little bit more slim outline and you would run it longer, obviously, than the short round, but they both have fuller noses and then come back and they both have a bump wing going into a squash tail. So when you put them side by side, they, they, look, they look very related and they're gonna have a very similar performance. This board does have a little bit more rocker and it's a little bit slimmer, so it's gonna fit into punchier waves better than a puddle jumper, and also bigger waves uh, than a puddle jumper, which would be a good thing. So 
for a two board quiver, this board and a puddle jumper would be a great uh, combo. And we've had that actually question a lot and you know, unrelated people calling in or stopping at the shop asking that exact same question. So the answer is, is yes, it would work together really well. I was lucky enough to be on the inside inside realm of this board from early early on. Uh, I got one of these last summer and was able to surf it, you know, in trunks all through the summer and summer surf through like, you know, good fall surf in the winter and and, and it's, uh, it's a great board. Um, and what I like about it is is that pivot that it has the speed it has the speed of the rocket but it has a lot of the performance attributes of uh of a shortboard you know the, the fast rail to rail and that real pivoty that real pivoty turn um when you need it uh you know if you're late if you're late to hit the lip or you just or you really want to just crank like a really hard turn it has the ability to do that where some of the other uh wider nosed straighter outline boards can't get that pivot into into the wave when you when you need it and you know it's a good it's a good board to have in your car if you have one you know and you and you want to cover a wide range of surf as well and you have and you have consistent surf um, the original logo on the short round started out as a bulldog and uh when they put the board into official production uh rick dunn at loss came up with the uh with the new short round logo which uh takes a little bit of influence from uh, mario kart so when you uh, when you get your your special superpowers and you're able to just roll everybody, you turn into this bullet, this like little aggressive bullet right here. So I guess that's the uh, the theme behind the the short round is you can go out there and roll everybody because you're going to have superpowers. So check it out. It's the short round, definitely uh, already one of the most popular models in the Lost lineup for uh, for this season and uh, both you know out of the out of the shop and custom order. But you know it's just a good good all around board with super smooth curves. If you want to check out more information on the Lost Round, you can check it out at realwatersports.com slash surfing and just look at the Lost Short Round page. you find a lot more uh, tech specs, insider info, and also a uh, Q&A, like comment section, or if you have additional questions, you can do it down there. Thanks for tuning in.